So Tucker Carlson uh, took a break from spreading conspiracy theories about George Floyd's death, and he is now going to mock the existence of pregnant women in the military, which is weird to me because if you're a right winger, then I was told you're supposed to support the troops at all costs and even perhaps like worship them. Nonetheless, Tucker Carlson is going to mock pregnant women serving in the military pretty explicitly. So we've got new hairstyles and maternity flight suits. Pregnant women are going to fight our wars. It's a mockery of the U.S. military. While China's military becomes more masculine as it's assembled the world's largest navy, our military needs to become, as Joe Biden says, more feminine, whatever feminine means anymore, since men and women no longer exist. The bottom line is it's out of control, and the Pentagon's going along with this. Again, this is a mockery of the U.S. military and its core mission, which is winning wars. Okay, listen, let's, let's accept all of his arguments for a moment. Let's accept, let's play devil's advocate here. Let's accept that he's correct and that women who are pregnant serving in the military and women in general serving in the military, let's extend that trans people in, in the military. It is bad because it makes the military um, more effeminate, which reduces military readiness. Let's accept that that is true. As someone who is supposedly anti-war, and we all know that that's, that's false because Tucker Carlson supported the Iraq war, but he cosplays and uh, LARPs as someone who's anti-war on his platform. Isn't that a good thing? Isn't the United States military being less ready, uh, less capable, if you will? Isn't that good? Because wouldn't that reduce our ability to wage wars that are never ending? Isn't that good? Like by the standards of someone who is supposed to be anti-war. Now, of course, it's bullshit. This absolutely does not reduce military readiness. The United States military is the most powerful, largest military in the history of the fucking human species. So, of course, pregnant women serving isn't going to make the military any less capable, like whoever thinks that is a fucking clown. But even by his own standards, if this makes our military less effective, shouldn't that be good? Because isn't it bad that we're waging all of these wars? I mean, he says that it's a mockery that women are serving uh, who are pregnant in the military. That's a mockery to Tucker Carlson, a so-called anti-war advocate. But it's not a mockery that we're literally occupying multiple countries, perhaps indefinitely. Isn't it a mockery that we invaded Iraq and the babies who were born when we invaded Iraq are now old enough to serve in that same war? Isn't that a mockery to Tucker Carlson? Like, if you're an anti-war advocate, I wouldn't necessarily be too concerned with the readiness of our military, right? Because our military is capable of, like, destroying the entire planet if it wants to. So I'm not concerned with that. As an anti-war advocate, a true anti-war advocate, I'm more concerned with what the military does, not who serves. But Tucker Carlson is a fucking clown and even scoffs at the new hairstyles and maternity flight suits, as if that's so bad, who cares? New hairstyles that the military allows. So they are accommodating women and black women who wear their hairs in different styles than white women and men. Who cares? Why does that matter to you? Like, I, I don't understand. I'm failing to see how this is relevant to any political issue at all. It seems like you're literally just sexist. Like, and I very rarely resort to, like, identity politics name calling, but, like, what else is this? Like, you just don't want pregnant women to serve? So, like, the military should discriminate against pregnant women? Is that what you're saying? Like, this is such a stupid thing to talk about. Like, you have the largest platform in the entire country, and you are choosing to mock pregnant women? Like, what a fucking clown. Who cares? Yes, pregnant women can serve in the military. They're human beings. They're capable of serving. Like, I just, I don't understand what he expects. Like, what would appease you? Banning pregnant women from serving in the military? And also, he compares the U.S. military to China's military, and he implies that China's military is stronger than ours because uh, they're more masculine. They're becoming more masculine, whereas our military is becoming more feminine. That's what Joe Biden is advocating for. So, China's military is better than ours based on their masculinity. Except, does masculinity and femininity really matter when we're talking about, like, dropping bombs, carrying guns, and using tanks? Is it going to do less damage if the drone pilot uh, drops a bomb 
on, you know, a village in Pakistan, if they do it like effeminately, if they're like, <laughs> I, just, I, I don't understand. I don't understand the argument that he's trying to make. It's fucking stupid. Tucker Carlson is a clown. He's a clown. So I don't know uh, what's left to say. I think that the clip speaks for itself. Uh, Tucker Carlson does not believe pregnant women should uh, serve in the military. All right. You know, not the hill that I'd expect any serious person to want to die on, but have at it. Beta male, not a beta male.